Welcome to the Tone Church. I am your host, the Abbot of Tone, the Pastor of Picking, the Apostle of... Well, I guess silliness right now. Um, we're here to do some cork sniffing here with some vintage tubes. Got a nice little set right here. And uh, I just got home from work. Don't have a lot of time to do this. At some point, I'll do a, you know, a better, more scientific version of this. We'll, uh, you know, we'll use the same um, recorded guitar track with all the same settings. But for now, I'm just going to do the best I can and try and replicate my playing on each demonstration. And uh, eventually, we'll address the uh, Glenn Fricker video and, you know, add my own mud to the water. But anyway. These are the tubes for today. We are going to be doing 6v6 power tubes. And as a baseline, I have a match set of modern tongue salts made in Russia. They're toe to toe. The Russian towers above the American. It's a true case of David and Goliath here. I must break you. Courtesy of the Tone Depot in my wallet. And then we have some old school plain Jane metal uh, 6v6s. Genuine RCA tubes. Uh, just a heads up on this if you don't know what you're doing, don't use metal tubes. We can get more into that at another point, but uh, yeah, stick to the glass ones. Uh, moving on, we have some 6v6 GTs that were made by the Japan company. And we have a pair of Motorola 6v6 GTAs. Hello, Moto. And these are, yeah, not quite matched. There's some readings. And we've got a nice pair of Sylvania. For the past four years, the Sylvania Superset has beaten RCA and Zenith in an independent test for best overall color picture. Uh, what do they call that? Dark glass, smoke glass, something like that. And finally, a pair of Hytron CBS black plates. This is CBS. So that's a pretty nice selection right there. And, uh, alright, let's uh, plug it in and see what they sound like. Alright, here's the setup. Um, we have a 5E3 Fender Tweed Deluxe clone. We're using the modern Tongue Saw Made in Russia 6V6 GTs as the baseline. Uh, that's what I biased this amp for. It's biased at like 75%. I'm going to be going through the high bright channel and I'll put the volume at noon and the tone at noon. Going through this gutted Raven cab that has a 1969 Jensen C12R. On your left side will be GLS Audio ES57. Right side will be the MXL DX2. Signal will travel through these wires into a Steinberg. That thing. Just going into Reaper. Going into Reaper. All right. And then uh, I'll probably put pictures of the tubes as we get there, as we go along. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I guess this is kind of important, too. Telecaster-shaped object made by SX. That's what it is. Uh, bridge pickup, tongue all the way up. And um, you'll probably hear a bunch of noise um, through the circuit. I'm right next to my computer, so the pickups will be picking up a bunch of noise, so... Forgive me for that, but uh, cramped quarters, don't have a lot of time, we'll live. Here we go, tug saw. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. Um, this was just a quick and dirty version of this. I wanted to do a quick and dirty version of this just to get one under my belt and uh, know what to expect and just to think of how I can optimize uh, this test for the future. Uh, I apologize for all the um, noise the guitar is picking up. Um, to make things easy, I gotta sit right next to my computer and stuff, so. Apologize for that. In the future, we will work something out. But uh, there you go. It is what it is. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, if this is interesting and cool and you guys like it, we'll, uh, we'll come back bigger and better with some more cork sniffing. All right. Rock on, dudes and dudettes. Done!